up YouTube this is the a tech kid and today I have an overview of the iOS 5 beta 7 operating system for iPhone iPod and I iPad and iPod touch so let's get into it so iOS 5 beta 7 running on an iPhone 4 um, 16 gigabyte black as you can see right here so the first feature I'm going to show you guys is the um, little camera option now on the lock screen now if you double tap the home button um, at, like before you get these iPod controls but now you also get this little camera thing down here if you tap it it'll take you right to your camera and there you have it at your camera you can take videos or whatnot save it this is for basically people who need to take quick little videos things you really want to take a picture of and capture before the moment's gone like your child's first words steps or whatever so moving on uh... bear with me i can't type with my left hand that well so the next big thing is the notification center you slide down from the status bar and it reveals the notification center and as of now i have no notifications as it says but usually it'll have a list of notifications and you can touch them and depending on what application sent them it'll take you to that application if you tap on your local weather up here it'll take you to the weathers app if you tap on the stocks here um, you can just scroll through them it'll take you to the stocks app or yahoo stocks not sure don't want to do it right now um, another feature they added was um, newsstand which is basically where you can keep magazine subscriptions and they'll update automatically I do not find myself using this now nor will I use it in the future because I just think the screen on this is too small to be reading magazines this is more for the iPad than it is for the iPod or iPod touch or iPhone so the next feature is the um, wireless over the air software update which is actually very very cool you can download it over Wi-Fi. Your device has to be charged above 50%, 5050, or it must be plugged into power. So I use that a lot. Or you can uh, wirelessly sync to iTunes um, over Wi-Fi, which is also very cool, PC or Mac. Another cool integration they did was of Twitter. Now you can download Twitter. And it'll download the app. It's your option. You don't have to, but I did. But it adds Twitter to your operating operating system. Whereas to you can do things like tweet from the photos application if you take a picture, or whatever you else want to whatever else you want to do. Another cool feature is iCloud, which I'm sure you've heard of by now. Um, it is Apple's cloud-based service where you can back up. 5 gigs of data onto their server or onto the cloud and you can buy more space um, I think you could buy 25 gigs for 25 bucks annually which honestly isn't bad but I don't need 25 gigabytes of storage so I'm probably not going to do that um, another thing they've done is they added iMessage which is like BBM if you're familiar with that where you can text between iPad, iPad, iPod Touch, and iPhone. Um, I believe it doesn't use your cel cellular text messages, but if it does, I'm fine because I have unlimited. Also, they added something to Safari, like a reading list. I have no clue what that is. If you know and want to let me know, just comment and tell me because I never used it before. Also, they added an app called Reminders right here. Basically, like a to-do list application. It has a couple of cool features like uh, location-based reminders. If you uh, if you're at a certain place and you're leaving, it will remind you. Or uh, like, say I'm at the mall and I need to buy something specific. I can put in the reminder and it'll tell me before I leave. Did you buy whatever I need to get? So those are the big main features in this. Um, there was in iOS 4. They had the folders. Um, they had all of the multitasking. Oh, actually, now in the camera application, um, if you are taking a picture, instead of t 
touching the screen and that little like bar at the bottom coming in to zoom. Now you have to pinch to zoom. So I can't really show you that. I'm using my left hand and I'm holding it with it. And I'm recording this with another iPhone 4. So I can actually show you like that. You can see the tools up there are very much zoomed in now. Um, yeah, so what else? Let me think. They added a couple other things like for accessibility purposes. You, they have like a thing now where say you broke your finger and you need multi-touch to play a game or something. If you touch two fingers, a phone or iPad or whatever it is will recognize it as three, four, five, whatever you set. So nice of Apple to think about um, the people who have those issues. Maybe they don't have a finger or broken finger. Um, what else did they add? Let me think. I believe that's about it, guys. So when Beta 8 comes out, if it comes out, which it probably will pretty soon now, um, I'll have a overview of that too if they added anything. Um, I actually will review also this iPhone 4. I know it's a little old, guys, and iPhone 5 will be shipping pretty soon. If I get my hands on that, I will also unbox and review that for you guys. Uh, also, I have um, a Toshiba laptop review coming very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. I have a couple of giveaways coming up soon, so be on the lookout for that stuff, guys. Um, and see you in my next video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, guys. See ya.